what I want to do in this model is, is walk through step by step in the, the creation of an agent based model. Now, the idea is to walk through it slowly step by step so that you see it happen and then encourage you to actually walk through the same steps because watching the video is one thing actually clicking on all of the right places within insight maker to make it happen is is the only part that you actually really learn from watching the videos just sort of gives you a sense of it so the idea is that we'll take it step by step and it's probably going to be in two videos because I don't want the videos to be too long. So we go to Insight Maker and log in. Then we'll create a new insight. And once we create a new insight, we always want to save it right away. And we'll call it your first ABM. And we'll tag it ABM just so that if anybody else is looking for ABMs. And this is my, my first attempt and it's not quite my first attempt but it's almost my first attempt so I'll go ahead and save it and then I don't need all of this so I'll clear it out now what I'm going to create is the disease dynamics agent based model that was in the overview video to begin with so I need to initially create the agent which has three states of healthy uh, text already healthy infected and recovered now I so I can create the agent states from here from the drop down but it's actually easier to do it from here because if you create it from here it creates it on the screen and makes it selected so I can just call it healthy and then I can create one called infected and then I can create one called recovered okay so now I have I've created three states it doesn't do anything yet but if I then go ahead and say that I want to do a transition I mean you have to get from one state to another and when you use the uh, an SD model you use flows from one stock to another well these aren't stocks these are states and what you the way you get from one to another is a transition and it's the same tool it says flow stress transition you pass information from place to place in an ABM the same way you do in other models with links and we'll get to some of those in, in the not too distant future so we'll go ahead and create a transition from here transition going from healthy to infected and we'll name this transition itself infection okay so that an infection causes this agent to move from healthy to infected and then we'll create another transition from infected to recovered and we'll call this recovery all right now when the init when the model initially runs it has to initialize the states for the agents and what we'll do here is we'll call this true to true so that all of the all of the agents are healthy initially because they haven't been infected yet and the def so the default is false so we don't have to do anything to these because they aren't used yet and then what we'll do is this on for the trigger type for the infection probability we'll select this and we'll tell it that this is a probability and we'll apply this oh and we we also have to tell it what the probability is it's actually 0.3 so there's a three percent chance that a person becomes infected and then for recovery we'll tell it that this is also a probability and the probability of this is 0.2 so why is this did I select the wrong one oh there sorry 
I selected the wrong one before. So this is this is point three. This is uh, some more ongoing trial and learning, which I talk about all the time. So what I've done now is is I've simply created three states: healthy, infected, recovered. Made a transition from healthy to infected, and from infected to recovered, and provided a probability that those transitions occur and that all of the default settings for a model are 0 to 20 and years years is probably is probably not right maybe um, days might be more appropriate and I can now go ahead and simulate this and it shows that well let me go ahead and configure it and add the legend Where's it? Legend. Legend position automatic. So it shows it starts out as healthy, becomes infected, and then it recovers. Now each time you run this, it will be slightly different because of the random nature of the the probability for it actually happening. So what we have is a model with three states that will run, but it's not um, all that it could be at the moment. So what we now need to do is we need to actually turn this into an agent-based model. Um, and I'll go ahead and do this in the next video um, because this one's getting to be a bit long already. So um, this is the beginning of your first agent-based model. And as I said, when you finish the next video, I encourage you to go through these steps and actually create and run what you've seen. So um, until the next video, bye.